Tonight is August the 30th, 2017, and I'm going to make a video. I know there's quite a number of them out there on uh, YouTube, but I'm going to make another one about some Wi-Fi antennas. These are my little reference antennas, little monopoles, and I'm uh, tra this is my receive antenna. And I here, see, I've got the coax. You can see it right there on the floor, running out to my transmit antenna. So I'm setting up a reference here, transmitting from this one, and I'm receiving on this one. And we're going to compare two other antennas tonight. We're going to remove this one, the receiving antenna, and replace it with this little cantina. I just can't get over the, the gain and, and, the, and the width, how well this, these little cantinas perform. But let me show you the setup first. Well, right here is what we're looking at. And I have to be careful where I am because I affect it. Uh, there's our uh, our signal. And right now, it's just a reference signal. And it's down about uh, 10, 20, 30, about, about 44 dB. So we'll write that down. You can see the other signals from other Wi-Fi uh, access points around here scanning through there. That's at 2.440 gigahertz. You can see that right there with a span of uh, 100 megahertz. Okay. Now, yeah, see where I stand. So what I'm going to have to start doing is standing in this very same place right here every time. Let's see. I'll stand right, right there. Okay, right there. I know where I'm at, and now we're exactly at focus here. Come on, focus. About 40 dB down. We can see there you go. Just a little over 40 dB down. And I'm uh, of exactly how I'm standing and leaning up against the, um, the workbench. Okay, now what I'm going to do is replace this receive antenna and still do the best I can to position myself. I'm going to re replace this guy right here for this little cantina. But uh, let me show you something else about this thing. Look at, look at the uh, SWR on this thing, scanning from 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz. I should have put my, uh, my glare filter on there, my polarizing filter. Hang on and I'll do that. Okay, the polarizing filter helps a little bit. See, I get it scanning from 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz. And it's below 1.5 to 1 the whole way. I'm going to change the, um, the scale here. Okay. Let's take a look at that. That's from about 1.8 gigahertz. It rises very sharply lower than that, but uh, it, it's just, it just performs phenomenally well. Just does an amazing job. I just can't get over it. Now let me show you here what the dimensions that I use are. This is a 4 inch diameter can which is about 101 millimeters. It's a 6 inch long can which is about uh, how many is that? 150 millimeters. 6 inches long, 4 inches in diameter. Now some of these things if you you got to be careful what you find online because people tell you, oh yeah, this right here is supposed to be a quarter wavelength from the, from the end. It does not work very well at a quarter wavelength from the end. A quarter wavelength is approximately 1.2 inches. It works a whole lot better at about a half wavelength from the end. And here are the dimensions that I use. And I really get good performance out of it. I make it 55 millimeters from the end. It's, uh, it's 55 millimeters from here. You could, you could be off a millimeter or two and you're not going to hurt much. From the outside diameter of the can to the center of the end connector is about 55 millimeters. The length of the monopole in there from the, uh, from the end connector to the top of the little pole is about 27 and a half millimeters. If you measure from the top of the little monopole to the can, it's about 31 and a half millimeters. Those are the dimensions. And I've built a number of these things with shorter cans, larger diameter cans. Um, 
I used up a lot of cans at one time a few years ago. Moving uh, this uh, feed point around closer to the back of the can, it works so much better at a half a wavelength or so from the back of the can, not a quarter wavelength. There's a really nice article I found on uh, how to make these things, but and, and they actually did it right. They actually put it at these dimensions, and then they went and drew it and said it's a quarter wavelength. So you got to be careful. Okay, with that said, those are the dimensions. Of course, this is an, an end connector right here, a female end connector. Let's move, let's disconnect this antenna and put this one in its place and see how much we can we can change that because remember okay I'm standing in the same place there I am looks like I, I'm able to repeat this so now we're just a little over 40 dB down okay let's see what we can get out of this cantina and then we're going to put the parabolic dish at the other end and see what we get out of both of them okay we've got the can laying down there and I'm going to pick the can up I know I've got it focused in here. I've got to, I'm going to pick the can up, so I've got it wired up here. I hope that I'm going to point it and uh, manipulate it around, pointing it right at that uh, feed point until I get the, the best gain out of it. And let's see how much difference it makes. I can hold it steady. Getting myself back in the same place. Well, the best I can tell from over here, I'll be able to see it a whole lot clearer when I look at the video, because I'm at a distance. But it looks like uh, it's about minus 28 now. So I've got a good bit over 10 dB, maybe 12 dB gain out of this little, out of this little bean can. That is not insignificant. Over, over the monopole. So, I consider this, I consider this pretty significant. 10 dB is 10 times the power, so we've got it maybe 12 dB. Because we were saying it was a little bit uh, more than 42, 40 dB down. So there you go, okay. Okay, there you go. That's the best I can do. Now I'm gonna replace the uh, transmitting antenna with, um, with the, um, parabolic dish. Okay, now let me show you what we're doing. We're keeping the same cantina, but outside we've got the uh, parabolic dish set up, pointing straight in. It's a little dark, but I think you can see it okay. I think the camera's got it uh, pretty well in focus. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to mount the uh, camera back on the tripod. We'll look at the, uh, see it looks like we're about, about minus 40 dB, about where we were a while ago. And let's see if we can scope in on this thing and get a really sharp focus. Got to be really sharp. There we go. Okay, now if we get this, we we'll start pointing it straight at him. Making sure that our polarity is right, yeah. See, I'm, I'm moving it left and right and up and down. We're getting another, we're getting another 10 dB gain thereabouts. I'd say right at it because a while ago we were about mm, minus 28. Looks like now from this distance we're about maybe a minus 20, maybe a minus 18 there. So we're getting another 10 dB gain from the uh, parabolic dish. A little disappointing, though. Wish it was more than that, but that looks like the peak right there. Maybe, maybe, in, maybe another 12 dB. So we're getting between 20 and 24 dB gain out of the two antennas. That's pretty good, I think. So there you go. For what it's worth. For what it's worth. I don't know. Um. Cantina antennas turn out really good. The parabolic dish has turned out pretty good. And uh, the cantina is very directional, but it has about as much gain as the uh, as the uh, large as the uh, pretty large parabolic dish out here. 
Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.